high school football players all over the nation dream of performing in front of sold out crowds in the loudest venues in the world. That's exactly the road Mountain Ridge grad Nick Covey has driven. Well, kinda. The 2005 Mountain Lion grad is now the jackman for the JTG Doherty Racing number 47, lifting a 3,300 pound car in stadiums exceeding 140 decibels, nearly twice as loud as an NFL stadium. I started playing football in like sixth grade. I got pulled up at the end of my freshman year and then I played uh, three years on varsity level. The linebacker tight end hybrid helped lead the Mountain Lions to multiple 5A Northwest Region Championships and Mountain Ridge's only state championship appearance in 2004. After an injury riddled career at Nebraska, Covey's athletic career appeared to be over. I played a couple games, a couple snaps here and there, but I mean for the most part it was mostly just surgeries and school and practice for me and a lot of rehab stuff. Shoulders and knees and just surgery after surgery, I couldn't seem to keep my ligaments together. Until an unexpected call came in from NASCAR. A guy named Jack Stark was affiliated with Nebraska and affiliated with Hendrick Motorsports and they were starting to do a uh, pit crew combine tryout type of thing. I got a phone call about two months after the tryout and they said, hey, can you move to Charlotte in two weeks? And I said, yes, sir. And that was basically it. When it comes to carryover from the gridiron to pit road, besides athleticism, the only other significant ability Kobe uses is an athlete's vision. Like I can see my changers going all at once. It kind of helps with your perception. I think growing up and playing sports, you kind of learn that you can feel a guy on your side or you can see a guy in front of you or past you. You can kind of look through things. After a decade on pit roads across the U.S., Kobe knows none of this would be possible without his time in Glendale at Mountain Ridge. I mean, got me to where I'm at, I'm at now. You know, it got me over to Nebraska uh, with a scholarship there and then led me up into racing.